Hello, I'm David Pengeli, and I'd like to teach you how to perform a null homotopy of the double turn in three-dimensional space with your right hand. Now we call this hand waving because what's really important is the orientations of your hand during the null homotopy, not what your arm is doing in controlling the hand. Now you should see nine animation movies interpolating between a double turn movie in the upper left to a stationary movie in the lower left. And these nine movies curl around the right side of your screen and provide uh, snapshots of the null homotopy of the double turn. Um, they should seem like snapshots of something continuous to you because each movie should seem like a slight variation, a sloppy version of the movie before it or after it, and your brain should be able to interpolate between them to believe that these are snapshots of a continuous family of movies interpolating between the double turn and the stationary movie. Now let's discuss the stick figure that you see, which is supposed to represent your right hand. Look at the lower left movie with um, a stationary stick figure, and you'll see that the blue tube pointing to the right represents your thumb. The tube, red tube pointing away from you uh, represents your fingers. There's some flesh connecting the fingers with the thumb. And then there's a vertical orange candle with a uh, flame on top uh, that represents a candle uh, standing upright in the palm of your hand. Now, we can perform each of these movies, and let's begin with the double turn movie in the upper left. I'm going to perform it in synchrony with the animation. Here we go. So I'm keeping my palm upright the entire time. I've turned it around once, and now I'm going around the second time. Movie ending. Now, you might have expected my arm to break when I turned my hand twice around the vertical like that, but amazingly it didn't. And now we're ready to, to go on the upper left movie will be called movie zero. Now we're ready for movie one, which is the second movie from the left. I'm performing it now. And what you notice is that it seemed almost like the double turn movie, except that it was a bit sloppy and my hand tipped a bit during the movie. And let's in particular do it once more and notice, um, in fact, I'm going to stop in the middle of the movie and see where my hand is in the middle of the movie. stop. So I've stopped in the middle of the movie and you notice that my hand is intentionally turned one-eighth of a turn from the vertical. And now I'm going to finish with the animation. Finish movie one. And now we'll go on to movie two. So watch where the hand is in the middle of each movie. Here comes movie two. In the middle of the movie it's there. We'll come back and look at these movies again a little later. Watch the middle of each movie. Here comes movie three in the upper right. Now comes movie four, which is fascinating because it seems neither like the double turn movie nor the stationary movie. Notice where the hand is in the middle of the movie, right there. Now in movie five, the lower right. Middle of the movie is there. Here comes movie six. The movies get a little more difficult to perform because less is happening and they're much slower. Here's movie six. And now in movie seven, the hand barely wobbles. And in movie eight, nothing at all happens. Now let's do the movies through once more, and this time I'd like to stop in the middle of every movie and discuss with you the progression of uh, positions of the hand in the middle of the movies. Here goes the double turn. And of course, in the middle of the double turn, the hand is in the original default position. It's just my arm that's all twisted. Now I'm going to finish the double turn. And now we'll move to movie one. Movie one is the sloppy version of the double turn in which my hand is allowed to tip a bit during the movie. And in the middle of the movie, my hand, you see, is an eighth of a turn from the vertical. Now I'm going to finish in synchrony with the animation. And now we'll move to movie two and see how much the hand is tipped in the middle of this movie. So here comes movie two. I'm stopping. And you can see my hand is now tipped sideways. It's quarter of a turn. Now I'll finish with the movie and we'll move on to movie three. Now let's stop again in the middle of movie three. And 
you can see stopped, my hand is turned 3 eighths of a turn from the vertical in movie 3. Now we move to movie 4. You can imagine that this time my hand is going to be turned 4 eighths of a turn from the vertical in the middle, meaning my hand will be upside down. And it is. I've stopped it upside down. Now we'll finish the movie. Movie 5, the hand is going to be turned more than half a turn from the vertical. It's going to be turned 5 eighths of a turn from the vertical. In movie 6, it's going to be turned even further, 6 eighths of a turn from the original vertical. Here it is, 6 eighths of a turn, which is 3 quarters of the way around. Then in movie 7, 7 eighths, seven -eighths of a turn around, just a slight wobble. And in movie 8, everything is stationary. So what you see is that if we watch what the hand does in the middle of the movies, it looks like this. In the middle of the first movie, the hand is in the state in the default position, but my arm is all twisted up. Now in the middle of the of movie one, the hand is turned an eighth of a turn. In the middle of movie two, it's two eighths, then three eighths, then four eighths of a turn. In the middle of movie four, then five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths of a turn in the stationary movie. So if I were to make a new little movie of my hand progressing through the null homotopy in the middle of every movie, it would start like this, and my hand will make one full turn around my fingers during the null homotopy through the middles of all the movies. Now there's a theorem in our paper called the Every Which Way Theorem, which applies to all null homotopies, and it says that under any null homotopy of the double, double turn, every direction in space must go to every other direction in space at least once. So, for instance, in this null homotopy, we could ask about the candle in the default position pointing straight up, and we could ask, when does it point straight down during the null homotopy? And we've seen when it points straight down. It points straight down at the very middle moment in the middle movie of the null homotopy. And in fact, that's the only time that happens in this null homotopy. This null homotopy is very efficient, and we have results to uh, claim that, in fact, uh, most uh, directions point in most other directions only once during this null homotopy. There's one other feature of the null homotopy that I'd like to ask you to look at. In looking at our paper, you'll see we discuss what's, what we call hinge or clamshell behavior. And if you look at the thumb in this null homotopy, the blue tube, you'll see a lot of very interesting hinge and clamshell behavior if you watch closely what the thumb is doing. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning about the null homotopy of the double turn, and I hope you'll enjoy showing it to your friends.